Welcome to another Pastor's Chat. Today we're continuing to look at Romans chapter 4. Chapters 1 through 3 in Romans, Paul has found us guilty before a holy God. Chapter 4, he begins to tell us how illustrated in the life of Abraham, we can have the righteousness of God imputed to our account and stand before God as if we had never sinned. And so we see first, as we looked at yesterday, Abraham discovered this grace, this wonderful salvation. He believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. It was put on his account. That's way back in Genesis chapter 15, almost 2,000 years before Jesus came. You put that together, now 4,000 years ago, Abraham discovered this great salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. Now today, we're going to be looking at the next few verses there about how David describes this grace, this salvation, this imputation. And it says, just as David also described the blessedness of the man whom God imputes righteousness apart from works, blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven or iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered, blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute sin. So David, so David describes this. Now, when you think of Abraham, especially a Jew would have thought the greatest of all saints is Abraham. But when you thought of David, you would remember, and they would too, a great king, but it was David who had committed the sin of adultery adultery with his best friend's wife, and then he conceived an idea to have his friend killed to cover up his sin. I mean, the sin of adultery and murder. David committed those sins, but David went to the Lord in Psalm 51 and prayed a great prayer of repentance, and he found forgiveness. And then he writes Psalm 32, Blessed are those whose lawless deeds, whose iniquities are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. And so first of all, David describes this righteousness, this grace of God, how our iniquity, our sin is forgiven. Our sin is forgiven. You know, if someone offends me and I forgive them, it means that I do not hold that offense against them any longer. Let's just say someone owes me $10. They come and say, I can't pay the $10. I just can't do it. And I say, well, I forgive you. I forgive you that debt. And so they say, well, thank you so much. Now, they might not have had to pay the debt at all, but I incur the cost of the $10. Somebody pays the debt. Jesus paid the debt for my sin. God doesn't forgive me because he loves me solely. He forgives me because in his love, he's provided for my salvation through Jesus Christ. So my sins are forgiven. God does not hold that against me any longer. But my sins are not only forgiven, my sins are covered. The Old Testament word for that was atonement. They're covered. When God looks down, he doesn't see the sin. They're covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. And so Romans 4, 7, blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven, whose sins are covered for covered. Now, God not only forgives, God forgets. If you offend me, I can forgive you, but I might have a hard time over the next year's months forgetting the offense you committed against me. In Micah chapter 7, verse 14, I will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. In Isaiah 38, 17, Indeed, it was for my own peace that I had great bitterness. But if you have lovingly delivered my soul from the pit of corruption, for you have cast all my sins behind your back. And then I love Psalm 103, 11 through 12. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins, our transgressions from us. God cast our sins behind his back, and if he turned them around, if he turned around, he still couldn't see them because they're behind his back. He cast them into the deepest sea. 
that they could never be recovered. He cast our sins as far as the east is from the west. Man, my friend, you can never, never, ever get to the east and find out you're there. You're still going to have to get to the east. There is no way to measure between east and west. Yes, your sins are gone, gone, gone. Yes, my sins are gone when you come to Jesus Christ. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are covered. Trust Jesus today and know this forgiveness of sins. God bless you and have a wonderful day.